Hey everybody, it's Maya from the 6th grade class and today I'm going to show you how to make candy sushi at home. First, I'll show you a recipe for homemade Rice Krispie treats and then I'll show you different ways that you can decorate your sushi with candy and gummies. It's a really easy and fun recipe um, and a really great way to pass time while you're stuck at home. So I'm going to put up a list of the ingredients and supplies that you'll need to make this recipe and then we'll be ready to go. The first thing that you're going to want to do is put your stove on and then put your butter in the pan and let it melt completely. When the butter is completely melted, pour in the entire bag of marshmallows. Stir the marshmallows to coat them in the butter and then continue to stir them until they're fully melted. Make sure to keep the marshmallows moving otherwise they will get burned. Now that your marshmallows are completely melted, turn the heat off on the stove and pour in your Rice Krispies. Then you're going to want to mix until they are completely combined. When the cereal and marshmallow are completely combined, pour them into your cookie sheet and get one of your hands wet and press down the mixture um, until it fills up the cookie sheet. When you're done pressing down the Rice Krispie Treats, they should look a little bit like this. Um, and then you're going to want to let them cool completely, which would only take about 10 minutes, so you can use that time to clean up the kitchen. Okay, so now that the Rice Krispie Treats are cool and they're made, we can go on to the fun part, which is actually assembling the sushi. So what I've done is laid out a little workstation with a fruit roll-up that I've unwrapped and then a piece of Rice Krispie Treat that I've cut to the size of the fruit roll-up. I also have some assorted candies. These are just gummies that I got from Trader Joe's. You can use anything that you have on hand or in your house. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and cut these gummies in half so I can make little strips along the Rice Krispie. Okay, so for the assembly, you're going to want to put your piece of Rice Krispie treat onto the fruit roll-up. And then you can take your pieces of candy and lay them out on top of the Rice Krispie. Um, and you can use, again, whatever candy you want. I know at Medica we use often Starburst um, that you kind of squeeze out into little rolls. Um, and I'm just trying to copy that by making these skinny pieces of gummy. But yeah, you can use any candy you want as long as it's not too big to roll up. And so now you're actually going to want to fold up the edge of your Rice Krispie Treat fruit roll up and gummy combination and start to roll it together just like you would a normal sushi roll. Just like that. After you roll it, you can choose whether or not you want to keep it like this and eat it just like a burrito or if you want to plate them like sushi rolls and actually cut into the larger tube um, and make these little rolls. And as you can see, the gummies that I put in made this really cute rainbow pattern. Okay, so the next kind of candy sushi that you can make is a recreation of nigiri, which is typically a ball of rice with a piece of sashimi on top. Um, for this one, which is much easier than the sushi roll to make, you'll only need some kind of gummy um, or candy. I'm using Swedish fish because that's what we usually use at Medica, as well as um, an equal number of Rice Krispie Treats to the amount of candy that you have that are cut in similar sized rectangles to the candy. And what I did was round out the corners so they look like little ovals of rice. And then you'll also need a fruit roll up that's been unwrapped but still on the wrapper, so just flat out. And the assembly for this one is quite easy. All you're gonna do is put your gummies or candies on top of the corresponding rectangles like that and then you're going to want to cut strips of your fruit roll up um, very thin strips to look like pieces of seaweed 
Now that you have these cut strips of fruit roll up, you're going to want to peel each one off of the fruit roll up wrapper, just like this. And then the final step in the assembly is taking these strips and laying them over the fish like that, and then connecting them at the bottom. And you're going to want to repeat this step for each one of the candy sushi that you have made. All right, your candy sushi are all done. These are how mine turned out. Um, whether you made all of them or just one, or if you just watched the video, I hope that you had fun and that you could bring a little bit of Medica into your home. Enjoy the rest of Medica Live, and I hope that we'll be able to see each other next summer. Bye.